For this procedure, we will be testing both E. coli and Staphylococcus aureus for their susceptibility to a variety of antimicrobials found in food. While you will be testing both bacteria, we are just showing E. coli here. To start out, you will need to inoculate the entire surface of a TSA plate with the bacteria. You want to be sure to get a nice even layer so that the confluent growth is obtained after incubation. You can do this by rotating the plate one quarter turn and doing another streak along the surface. You'll notice that the bottom of the plate is separated into four quadrants, one for each of the three of the food products you are testing, and one as a control. Using a P20 pipette man, you're going to carefully pipette five microliters of each of the food products into their respective quadrants. In the quadrant labeled control, pipette 5 microliters of sterile water into the center. You'll want to be sure to allow 5 to 10 minutes for the plates to dry before moving them. Once the plates are dry, you can place them in the bucket for incubation.